following movie will create a bolted connection where we do not have a hole through the plates that we're fastening together. We'll begin by creating our simulation files in the NASTRAN solver environment. Now we'll create our solid mesh on the flanges that we'd like to connect. Now for the method of connection, what we'd like to do is begin by specifying a selection recipe which will collect the nodes in each mesh and create a rigid spider to its center of gravity. So the selection recipe is the first step. Here we want to use an input filter for mesh. We want to collect nodes for an arbitrary volume. This could also be a cylinder if you don't have 1847. And here you can see the nodes that it's collecting. And it looks like it collects the same nodes whether we're selecting inside or inside and crossing for containment. All right, so that's our first of two selection recipes. The second one will be for collecting the nodes on the bottom flange. We'll use the same process, bounding volume, input filter for mesh, and here we can only select one arbitrary volume. So we'll select the, the bolt And here you can see the nodes that it's collecting. All right, next we'll create a universal connection, rigid. And we'll only have one target, which we want to be a spider. And we want to use the leg, uh, use the leg center of gravity for the center of this spider and our target two will be none. And we just selected the uh, first selection recipe for our leg selection. Here we'll use uh, an existing axis and uh, we'll fix all the DOFs. Now to create the rigid spider, we just need to select automatic elements. And now you can see that it's created the uh, spider to all of the nodes in the volume and it's created its center point at the CG. We'll do uh, the same thing for the second selection recipe. And then we'll connect the two selection, uh, the two rigid universal connections with a 1D node to node connection as a C beam for our shank element. And we don't want two source nodes. I'll deselect that second node for source and make it a target node. And then lastly, we'll go ahead and specify our properties for our C-beam shank element. Here we'd like to specify the section as being a rod with the radius of the shank of the bolt. We also want to specify a material, or we can inherit one. And then we can make a solid representation of that beam to make sure that we've specified it correctly. All 
And that concludes the demonstration.